Hello, and welcome to the Mohit Show. In this video I will be covering stories from r slash dtrans, a well-moderated subreddit for people questioning, desisting, or detransitioning. I will be protecting the identities of these posters since individuals in this community have been harassed when their stories have been discussed. A text-to-speech voice is being used due to current recording difficulties. Don't worry, I will be able to voice again soon. This video's first post, titled, Trans Trenderism Almost Ruined My Life Desisted Mail I'd like to share some personal stuff I had to deal with in the last four years. So, I'm currently a 19-Y old male, about four years ago I started questioning my gender because of friends and a culture where being trans and queer is normal to the point you almost want or need to be to be accepted. Loads of my friends in school were trans or non-binary etc. Most of my friends before that were female too, so I didn't feel very masculine. However, I always was really good at sports, tall and very fit, looked very masculine and acted masculine, from nature, this led me to question myself and eventually going to a therapist, I was still scared and kind of embarrassed to talk about it with people except my friends. I felt like it wasn't normal, after a solid year of identifying myself as a woman which I clearly wasn't, my family didn't know about it, so I'd act normal around my parents. I then met this girl a year back that eventually became my girlfriend and she made me realize I like being a man and embrace masculinity more. I was so against the stereotype toxic male when I started realizing recently that it's not real. It's not toxic, the people being toxic are the ones calling masculine males toxic. When that is just human nature. I lived in total delusion for almost four years. I don't want to blame my friends back them that they forced me into it but unconsciously I felt pressure to it. Forcing myself to be a minority and be special when that's definitely not the case. I felt like I needed to be trans or queer to be accepted in the society I lived in. It's okay to be a normal masculine male and I shouldn't feel bad or guilty to be. Mentally I'm not very masculine, I like things that would be considered for girls like some TV shows, movies or music. That doesn't make me a girl or gay. I can perfectly enjoy listening to Ariana Grande and Dua Lipa at the gym working out getting more masculine or working my male dominated job. Anyways random thoughts I wanted to say here I hope someone can relate to this. I'm very happy to be a man and I love my life as it is now trying to improve myself every day. Cheers. From the comments. Detrans male well, I think your girlfriend is a hero in this story, since she opened your eyes on being a handsome guy is great. You are lucky, that it happened before you passed through SRS, FFS, and all that trendy stuff. But some of your peers are less lucky. Detrans male liking music made by women or even fashion and makeup don't make you less mentally masculine. If you are averse to masculine things, that could possibly be considered not masculine, but liking feminine things does not make you less masculine, they are not opposed to one another in some zero-sum game. Detrans female I am so happy for you, and your post made me feel so hopeful for the future. Adults need to know stories like yours so that our society can really understand what is happening. Desisted female same thing happened to me when I was about 9 or 10 but I thought I wanted to be a boy, I have PTSD from the things I saw in that community. Desisted I've got to agree with this. People say, toxic masculinity hurts men too. But a lot of supposedly toxic behaviors are just natural and healthy to men, who relate to each other and the world very differently from women. I think a lot of feminine boys who grow up with female friends are encouraged to shut themselves off from other men, to be suspicious and hostile to masculine ways of doing things. I know that was true for me. Now I have more male friends being a man makes way more sense to me, I can see how it's a fundamental part of who I am and I'm proud of it. Maybe I would never have felt out of place if someone had encouraged me to embrace my masculinity earlier. Next post, titled, I feel betrayed by the trans community. Detrans female I can't think of how much pain and mental anguish I could have avoided in my years identifying as transgender if the community felt allowed to be more open to discussing gender ideology. There's so little conversation about coming out, people either have to accept you without question, or else you get to call them a transphobe. I feel like the community attacking anyone who asks important questions creates the worst kind of echo chamber imaginable, where people are convinced into new identities, and excommunicated for leaving if it's not right for us. I don't know why it's so easy to have access to gender-affirming healthcare without legitimate counseling and examining other mental health issues first. I was given HRT after my first appointment at the clinic. I completely agree that trans people are real, but I also think that most of what we're seeing in the past few years are lost, confused, and traumatized folks seeking a supportive community and sense of self. I think I was one of them. I'm terrified for the next generation of kids slash teens who are convinced into making permanent decisions that affect you for life, for the wrong reasons. I feel like the community is doing a disservice to young people by treating transition as a cure-all, and validating without question, 
without making sure it's what's actually best for them. I'm coming to accept myself as a masculine, female person. That's it. I have dysphoria, but I'm looking for other ways to cope with it, and gender is a social construct that doesn't mean anything about me. I can't believe the trans community has become so close-minded, it's hurting itself, it's hurting LGB folks, it's hurting kids, it's hurting people who are mentally ill, it's hurting legitimate transgender people. There needs to be more non-politicized discussion about this. From the comments. Desisted the cataclysmic failure of the timorous medical screening processes, and the pharmaceutical and surgical gold rush that has sprung up around transition, is doing massive damage to an entire generation. Unfortunately, it isn't just the medical community that is doing the damage. The cult-like ideology that is ever pervasive in trans communities is resulting in a population of people pathologizing themselves on the shakiest and rinky-dinkiest of reasoning. Like most cults their logic has the porousness of cheesecloth and would be funny if it wasn't actively doing real harm to people and children. Because the illusion demands that other people speak and behave in exact accordance with their strict dogma, you'll see immediate offensive attack on anyone who pauses long enough to question the absurdity. These are the same people who are cracking the egg of the unworldly girl who is being told that because she wants to wear a vest she was actually born in the wrong body. This is a community that insists that diabolical transphobic boogeymen are lurking around every corner just waiting to snatch their flags and anime avatars away from them. There is no nuance or shades of grey to be found. It's cartoonish. I think it's important to have compassion and patience with trans communities since these people ultimately are victims of increasingly obvious systematic and societal failures. Transsexualism is a thing, has always been a thing, and, until recently, was always treated with the rigorous scrutiny that is owed to the sufferer. Until recently transition was an extremely radical treatment for extreme dysphoria. Now it's offered as a quick fix identity that will solve all your problems and explain why you're a boy who likes to have long hair. Puberty blockers are not safe and have never been safe. Sexual reassignment surgeries are still very much experimental. Your body didn't develop along the biological path to sustain the hormones of the opposite sex. Your brain is not gendered, being gay does not mean you are in the wrong body, and your pronouns are just as boring and meaningless to the rest of the world as they are to your dog. Detrans female I think that lawsuits are going to unravel this whole craze in a decade or so. It seems like it's going to go on forever, but they said the same about other psychiatric fads in the past. Therapists who affirmed and implanted false memories of abuse, therapists who affirmed and encouraged multiple personality disorder in patients, therapists who encouraged children to construct fantasies of satanic cults and cut ties with their families. All of these psychiatric fads began to die when the lawsuits started increasing in frequency and insurance pulled support for all of their treatments which caused problems for many of their patients. If insurance companies begin to pull support for adolescent transition or put much harsher requirements on people wanting to transition medically, and if the general public are aware of many people's regret, the fad will begin to die. Detrans female I think that lawsuits are going to unravel this whole craze in a decade or so. It seems like it's going to go on forever, but they said the same about other psychiatric fads in the past. Therapists who affirmed and implanted false memories of abuse, therapists who affirmed and encouraged multiple personality disorder in patients, therapists who encouraged children to construct fantasies of satanic cults and cut ties with their families. All of these psychiatric fads began to die when the lawsuits started increasing in frequency and insurance pulled support for all of their treatments which caused problems for many of their patients. If insurance companies begin to pull support for adolescent transition or put much harsher requirements on people wanting to transition medically, and if the general public are aware of many people's regret, the fad will begin to die. Original poster I think you're absolutely right, especially as tens of thousands more people come forward with serious health issues and regret. It's going to happen, and I feel like it's going to explode. Right now, it's a huge industry, and projected to be a billion dollar medical industry, so whether or not these things get covered up is going to be a huge challenge for everyone to face. Detrans mail one of the things I will never forgive is my therapist telling my parents I was going to kill myself if they didn't completely affirm me. Same with the trans community, at least online, for spreading the idea that it's literally suicide or transition. I came out at 16 and started HRT at 19. I had no idea my therapist told this to my parents until a while after I started my transition. Even while I was on hormones, it struck me as completely inappropriate. I can't think of another mental health treatment that gave such dualistic choices. There has to be a better way of exploring these issues. Detrans female I'm sorry you and your family experienced that. It is completely inappropriate and promotes, even within gender questioning people, and I either have to do this, or I'll die mentality. I felt the same way. I'm still here. It takes away choice, and it takes away conversation because no one wants someone they care about to die. Desisted male it's a sad situation. 
You have a lot of people who, although they mean well, often end up validating others' self-hatred and pushing some unhealthy ideas of what manhood slash womanhood should look like. You do have plenty of trans people who are more reasonable and just want to live their lives as their preferred gender in peace, but they get drowned out by activists who seem more invested in furthering their cause than what's right for others. Seeing reports coming out about doctors who can't speak up about their concerns for transitioning youth and poor medical practice is troubling. Original poster definitely, I feel very deeply for the very small population of legitimately transgender people who are going to be dragged down with this ship. The fact that medical professionals slash practices are being silenced is so concerning. Questioned a while but didn't end up transitioning another issue I used to have about just asking questions within the community is people would tell me go look it up, I'm not a dictionary or they would say I shouldn't have to explain that to you. I was looking for the difference between body dysmorphia and dysphoria, I was genuinely curious how people distinguished their issues from something else. They must have thought I was being rude. My question usually went like hey feel free to ignore, but I have a question. How did you know you felt gender dysphoria? Was it different for you from basic insecurity or body dysmorphia? Rarely I would get the gender euphoria as the opposite gender response instead of the F off responses. I needed anecdotal information and some people I really did trust to give me properly thought through info, but they didn't like answering questions beyond what binder they bought or what surgeon they went to for top surgery. It was so frustrating trying to find out what machinations went through their head on a deeper level because I needed to know if what I thought aligned with them. That was not my only mistake, too, lol. My other mistake was asking people who were trans influencers with more than 5k followers because I bet, they had the echo chamber way too loud in their life. Original poster I think this is so important because I was one of those people. I didn't like to answer those questions because I couldn't. There was no rational, scientific explanations for a lot of the ideas the trans community claims. It's very much based on personal feelings, and it's easier to live in a comfortable happy delusion than have people question it. It's so terrifying. Questioning own gender transition I didn't even go to a gender clinic or anything. I was prescribed hormones by my family doctor in one appointment taken in for gender dysphoria by my parents, diagnosed, and medicated the same day. If this was absolutely and unquestionably an accurate diagnosis, brain in the wrong body, then I'd applaud the expediency, but I question now whether it was the right choice. Desisted female same. This resonates with me so much. There's a lot going on in the trans community that isn't helpful to trans people or anyone else, it's just political propaganda and fear-mongering. Desisted female it's socio-cultural engineering to condition us to blindly accept more and more outrageous ideologies and stances with the understanding we're not allowed to speak up. Desisted female ogies. It is, isn't it? I hadn't thought of it quite that way. Now that I think about it, it's a lot scarier than I realized. I kind of feel like we're going to end up with another episode of witch hunting, maybe something like the Red Scare. Report your neighbors for not being woke enough, or something. I don't know. Dash original poster it's so much bigger and scarier than we've all realized, and it's devastating. Desisted female to be honest, currently I don't think we can tell what is a real trans person anymore. Next post, titled, Mourning My Womanhood. Socially trans, regrets medical transition lately I've been having these feelings that won't seem to go away. I thought I was happy with my life and how it's been going, but I keep having this deep gut punch that maybe I'm not as happy as I thought I was. I've fallen in love with personal masculinity, it makes me feel like myself and I love being masculine but sharing spaces with males and working with them and being seen as an equal is what doesn't make me feel good. I don't like when men see me as one of them, I don't like being perceived as a straight male. I keep wondering what my life could have been like if I had never transitioned. I was heavily bullied for being a lesbian as a teen. After something traumatic happened mid-teenagerhood, I transitioned, and I wonder if it was more of a trauma response than genuine gender dysphoria. I've been so confused lately, and I don't know where to turn anymore. I'm too poor to afford therapy, and I don't feel like I can tell anyone in my life about how I'm feeling. I've been daydreaming of what my life could have been like if I was just a butch lesbian instead of a trans man. I don't know where all of this came from suddenly. I thought I was happy with my gender and where things are going. I feel so lost. From the comments. D-trans I feel you. I feel most at home when I present myself in a masculine way but living as a man felt awful. My detransition has been a slow one, it has taken many years before people have started to gender me as a female despite me wearing only men's clothes etc. Still can't pass 100% of the time as a female, but neither can many butches who have never been on T. For me it's most important to see a masculine woman when I look in the mirror. I know what I am, and I see it clearly. It took a lot of patience, and facial hair removal, but it was worth it. 
I don't look male anymore and I feel at home in my body. D trans female I'm not a lesbian, but I am pretty masculine compared to most women in my gait and attitude. I don't know your age, but I do miss my early adult life, and wonder what type of person I would be now if I never transitioned. Next post, titled, The Things I Hated About Being a Man, Make Me a Man. Desisted male for most of my life I hated my narrow shoulders and wrists. My hands are always described as delicate and girly. I was so insecure about them. I thought it detracted from my manhood, and that since I could be pushed around by other boys, I was less than them. All boys schools can be brutal, since strength is a big factor in who is cool, and I didn't really know any girls my age for the first 12 years of my life. I desperately wanted to be a muscular guy but just never found a way to bulk up. I was dangerously skinny, since whenever I put on weight, I became skinny fat, and so I just starved it off. I was delusional about how I looked. I truly didn't know when I was too skinny or too fat. Got told later on in life it's called body dysmorphia. Go figure. Then I discovered the trans community, and it turned out I was just an egg waiting to be cracked, it's so creepy and cringy in retrospect. I was told that I would be so much happier as a girl, and I was truly excited about how freeing my new life would be. I wouldn't have to be good at sports, and my body was already kind of ready I felt, I was 14 at the time. This was what womanhood meant to me. When it came to cross-dressing, the skirts and stuff was fine, I bought them from a charity shop I volunteered at, A. Eh? But when I tried a dress, at age 16, it all fell apart. I got one for a woman of my size, and I thought I had a female body size anyway. Nope. When I looked in the mirror I didn't pose or angle myself. I just looked straight ahead. I realized that I would never be a woman. My shoulders, which I had hated for so long for being too narrow, were very obviously too wide for the dress. My skinny figure was so blatantly male, that I realized that this transition stuff was just a mistake. My delicate hands hung pathetically at my sides, looking absurdly manly in this outfit. While for a moment I was humiliated, in a way it was a huge relief, to realize that I truly was a man, no matter what anyone else said. I'd never be inadequate to be a man, since I couldn't possibly be anything else. A few years later my dad mentioned that small wrists run in the family. He's the manliest man I knew, and I just realized that I never once looked at his wrists. I find we obsess over the parts of us that we hate, but it can be brutally hard to accept those parts as something that makes us us. Once I accepted reality, I kept trying to fix myself. I'm in my early 20s now and have only just gotten the whole healthy eating thing together. I still work my shoulders out to make them bigger. But it's just a side thing, not something I'm ultra fixated on. Best wishes everyone. A from the comments, desisted female I think dresses always make males look more masculine and men's clothing often extenuates a woman's feminine features desisted haha, likewise, as femme as I felt I could never bring myself to wear women's clothing because it looks so stupid on my body. At the time I rationalized that away by telling myself I'd dress more femme as I looked more femme, as I started HRT. Oof glad I didn't. Also, oh yeah, dude the egg thing is so bad. Once I started spending serious time at egg underscore IRL my mental health went in the s -ter. By their definitions, everyone is trans in denial. The trans male skinny guys are very attractive for many girls as well as guys. There is no single path, man's sexuality is very vague in fact. If you start working out the testosterone circulating in your blood will help you to make your body more masculine, since you like it. So, just be confident, be smart, be unique, and it will make you attractive and happy. Next post, titled, Help I am extremely confused right now, have no idea what is the next step for me in life questioning own gender transition I am questioning my transition because of changes in beliefs through the years. I was female assigned at birth, I am presenting as a male for 5 years now and have been on hormones for almost 3 years. Starting my transition, I completely killed off my past identity. Long story short, I didn't really remember much of the past, and recently I have started to remember and think about it. I remember being okay with the way I was for a long time, and I can't integrate that memory with my transgender identity. On the other side, it is hard for me to imagine changing my social role after all these years. I was happy with the changes that I got through hormones. I don't know how I was so okay before with being a female, but now I am so resistant to the fact. I didn't even have any dysphoria growing up. I haven't done any surgeries and find it really concerning that I am ruining my body with hormones. It also poses a problem to me in spirituality. I do not know what the next step is, what if I regret detransitioning, but I feel like I can't stop regretting taking hormones because of the damage. Also, it is so hard to be a trans man, 
I feel like a fraud, and I am very confused. Please help me make sense of this. From the comments, D trans female how old were you when you started transitioning and what made you think about doing it? Original poster I was 21 when starting social transition, 22 when I started hormones, now I am 25. I thought that that is some kind of new chapter for me, that I will function as a man. Next post, titled, Transitioned because I was scared of failing being feminine, FTMTF, desisted female I've been on T for a year and recently realized I'm not trans. I think a big reason I thought I had dysphoria is because I thought I was ugly as a woman but would be the most myself living as a man. Before I thought I was trans, everything about me was pretty masculine compared to how feminine I wished to be. Now that I've been on T, it's even worse. Now I know that my gender is female, I feel way more ugly. I admire masculine women, but that isn't what I want to be. I feel like I'll never be feminine enough, I wasn't even able to be before I came out as trans. From the comments. Questioning own gender transition I'm sorry to hear how bad the pressure on women to have these stupid beauty ideal aesthetics is and how it has affected yourself and people commenting here. Not to detract from what you've said, but to compliment it, I think it's similar to the experience I had with identifying as MTF trans prior to becoming D trans. Though not about the physical side of things but more the emotional slash mental ones. I felt like I wouldn't be a real man, so transitioning was an escape from those expectations. You're valid however you are, and I wish you the best. I'm also grappling with how to cope with my appearance after hormone usage now. I'm not sure what the right thing to do is, but all we can do is take it one day at a time at it, on thinking more on it, I just wanted to add that I think a decent amount of it was physical too. I had cross-gender curiosity from a young age, no doubt, but I also wasn't more than 13 or 14 years old when I started having thoughts like well I'm short, so I'll hardly be a good looking guy and things like that. I think culturally we just don't have a good grasp on how to have teens and preteens understand their bodies in a healthy way. Trans ideation seems to be a pattern of deciding that the grass is greener on the other side, when first of all, it isn't, and second of a, you can't get to the other side anyway, no matter how hard you try. All the best to anyone reading this. I'm coming to really value this small community. Detrans this is pretty close to my experience. The body dysmorphia, like I wasn't pretty enough to be a woman. My mantra about myself was you can put lipstick on a pig, but it's still a pig it's not you or anything wrong with you, it's the expectations placed on young girls to be desirable. It's truly evil, original poster it really is evil. What an insidious curse of our culture, to tell young people that their meaning and reason for existing all must stem from their physical appeal to others. D trans female that's exactly the reason I transitioned as well. That, and internalized misogyny. I feel like the goalposts for femininity have been set back even further now for me. Desisted not pretty enough to be a woman. That resonates with me deeply. That feeling was overwhelming for me in my teens. I envied men for not having to experience the same degree of pressure to be beautiful. D trans female I think I partially can relate, before transitioning I already was so physically masculine people couldn't tell I was a teenage girl. Beauty standards plus my personal issues made me think I'm not normal, so I need to fix myself no matter what way to seem normal. And I actually finally looked normal when I started trying to mimic men, so at first, I was euphoric just because of that, and mistakenly took it as a sign of being a real trans man. I still can't stop depending on social norms and standards so now, after almost three years on T and one year off, I'm terrified to the point where I can't connect to myself even more than before. I just made everything I hated in myself even more real, and now it's actually not normal. I'm a weird ugly monster, it's my fault, and I don't want to accept what I've done to myself. Still live as a man, can't even use female pronouns in my own thoughts, this creature is not a female anymore, I don't have rights to go by she slash her, it feels disgusting. I don't see masculine women or other detrans women as weird ugly creatures, it's how I feel about myself because it doesn't fit me at all. Desisted female I felt somewhat like that too. As a kid people would sometimes mistake me for a boy, even though I had long hair. My features and demeanor were quite masculine, but it was a defense mechanism for abuse. Next post, titled, Sometimes I wonder if the damage is already done. Detrans MTF, Detrans male I went on hormones for around 18 days and stopped because I started to get severe panic attacks, vision issues, and a host of other really scary symptoms. I just wish I at least got a feminine body out of it. I just really don't want to age as a man. I would be so much happier if I had a feminine body, but I just don't know if it is worth destroying my health for. I think I have OCD which defiantly makes it a lot harder for me to stop obsessing over my gender. 
I just worry I am making a big mistake and it will turn out the hormones didn't even cause the issues and I just threw away my only chance of happiness for no good reason. I just wish there was more research that was honest so I could understand just how bad this is for my health. From the comments. Desisted female you'd still age like a man, regardless of HRT, because you are one. Doping yourself with estrogen won't change the threads that make up the fabric of your being, those were woven many years ago. You need to come to terms with that. Original poster thank you, sometimes I feel like a lot of it is trying to change the traumatic things that made me who I am. I think once I get past these issues, I may end up starting to feel better especially since I already have since I stopped taking hormones. I just really hate that I did this to my body. I hate that I was allowed to get these hormones the same day of my appointment. I hate that they told me there was no way the HRT was causing my issues, and I hate that I didn't even get the appearance I traded my health for. Detrans female aging as a woman sucks enough to often factor into female desire to transition. It did for me, and I now see it's a grass is always greener situation. Aging as a human just sucks absolute ass, and switching genders does not make it any better. What will make it categorically worse, however, is being transgender. I have OCD too and see my downward spiral of transitioning as a pattern in other areas of my life. If I cut my own hair, it will never look right, and I'll keep cutting it compulsively until I have to shave it off it's so completely effed. So, I never bring scissors to my own head, not even for a maintenance cut during busy seasons. The lesson here for me was to go with the flow of nature, as much as healthily possible of course, I'm not against birth control etc. You have to be really careful with any body modification with OCD or any type of mental illness really, and even better you may find some relief trying to flow with nature as much as possible, in a radical self-acceptance type of way. I found that to be impossible to attain while hiding things about myself to pass. There can be relief in meditation and communion with nature. Desisted female I would seek therapy and meds for your OCD. I had childhood OCD as well. There is definitely a comorbidity with gender dysphoria. As for the medical side of things, there are a lot of negative effects that come with cross-sex HRT. Our bodies simply aren't built to not have the correct hormones. I'm now a pre-med student and have already seen some cases of what goes wrong when women don't have the correct estrogen slash progesterone levels. It's straight up harmful ovarian cysts, increased cancer risks, bone weakness, etc. I'm sure it's similar for males. It's simply not biologically natural. We as a society have been fighting biology to satisfy psychological abnormalities but it's not going to turn out well. Here is some info on the risks of low testosterone. Essentially, it can cause increased risk of diabetes, obesity, heart disease, atherosclerosis, and depression. Link in description desisted I welcome up alongside others in the comments to educate and guide me. I am not attempting to share my opinion, more coaching questions if you reread what you've written up, do you not feel your answer is staring you in the face? What is I don't want to age as a man? Is that not quite different from I am not a man? Is that a reason to transition to begin with? Perhaps I'm misreading but it just really doesn't sound like gender is the core issue underneath all this, original poster well for me I have always looked very very feminine my whole life. This definitely changed how people viewed me and the role I had in certain relationships which is what really caused a lot of this confusion in my opinion. When I first went on these hormones, I did feel that I was meant to be a woman but after I stopped, I realized that it was more about feeling like I was meant to be feminine and fulfill a feminine role. I feel like I get to do that a little bit now because of my youth and appearance, but I am so terrified of having to lose that. It's a really big part of my identity and for a long time thinking I could start becoming more feminine whenever I was ready was a big comfort for me. Now that I know the truth about synthetic hormones, I really don't think it's worth it to destroy my physical health, but I wonder if I already have. Desisted thank you so much, that context is everything and tbh sounds like you don't need all that much assistance at all following that thought train, I can imagine how that would play on the mind. I'm not a therapist, a god or anything but if there's anything I want to say it's this, don't ever feel like you can't be feminine. It's a fact that actually we are all masculine and feminine energy just in different combos. Celebrate yours, celebrate yourself. Hormones and health ramifications, no expert, but I want to say at least you taking them for a short time will hopefully minimize any negative impacts. Aside from that, my advice would be to remember how special and loved you are, self-care the crap out of yourself, not a bubble bath lol but whatever makes you feel happy and a sense of recharging. Good friends, good music, good movies, good views on a long walk with fresh air, good grades, whatever fills you up inside. And take a pause moment as many here have suggested, this issue is very big in global society right now so I'm hoping you'll see research soon that will help soothe your mind. Best of wishes to you. X.
Next post, titled, Thank you guys, you saved my life, I hate society hi, this is obliviously a throwaway for the reason mentioned in the title. That being said I hope you don't expect me to reply because I don't intend on doing so. So here we go, one year ago I more or less started doubting my sexuality due to all the trans lobbying and due to the fact that I, a 19 year old autistic male, was unable to find a girlfriend, that wasn't really a surprise to me, but PPL kept pushing me e.g. you are probably just a woman in a man's body because I didn't really like doing anything sporty but rather being your typical nerd. You could essentially say people tried to bully me into transitioning. Instead of having supportive peers or teachers some even encouraged me to give it a try since it's apparently all harmless and easily reversible. Thank effing god I found this subreddit and not some black market selling estrogen, how can society let this happen? Why had nobody the courage to give me a good talk and to stand up against this trans lobby? Why have the doctors that offer this sort of procedure little to no qualification? Where is the FDA or whoever regulates it? Why is there no legislation in place to block this bulls till a person is at least of reasonable age, 25 in my opinion since you are only fully developed then but 21 would be good enough, I guess, all of that being said, I hope society regains consciousness and stops this madness have a great day I hope you're doing well. This video's final post, titled, I miss it? D trans female I am not transgender, but I miss the years I thought I was. I'm fortunate enough that I never suffered any real persecution because of it, so it's easy for me to say this but I do miss it. I miss the euphoria, I miss feeling like I had a goal to work towards, I miss getting so excited to order that one thing that would make me feel even more like my correct gender. I miss feeling so proud when I reached milestones, like getting my name changed at school and the occasional times my mom called me by my chosen name. But it was never about gender for me. It was a sense of purpose, something I could succeed at. It was the feeling of bravery, of perseverance. From the comments. The trans male I miss the sense of fun and excitement I got from feeling like I was exploring something new and different. I don't feel the same about it now. I got hurt by HRT and I feel like it was traumatic enough that I can't approach that way of thinking right now. I don't miss the ideology or the beliefs as much as I miss the carefree feeling of freedom and wonder that came with not knowing I was on a path that would harm me and believing that everything I was doing was just making me better. The trans female I miss the ignorance. Desisted female you shared a vulnerable piece of yourself with honesty. I feel blessed by your words. I remember believing that transitioning to my true gender would take away my biggest insecurities. Almost like every life error I made pre-transition now had an innocent excuse. Some people are saying that you should just pick up a hobby, and I get what they mean and they're probably right, but I think it's an oversimplification. You need to be able to get as excited about your own choices as you were by your immutable identity. That is not an easy task. In my experience, most people fail at it. But everyone I know who's really happy has learned to allow themselves to get caught up in the excitement of the choices they make every day. End.